Hey everybody, this is Matt. Just want to show you what a typical gopher mound looks like. And right here we've got an example of a perfect gopher mound. And we'll come up and we'll get an overhead shot of this. But just want to show you how this is laid out, how it sits, and so how you know to tell if you have a gopher issue in your yard or your field or if you've got something different. So we'll adjust here in a minute. But the one thing I want to draw your attention to right now is how this gopher mound sits here. And then there's another gopher mound right behind it, right here and then gopher mounds leading off into the distance from it. And when they travel, they travel underground and they're popping up these gopher mounds as they travel and that way you can see the direction that they're moving. Okay everybody, so now we've got an overhead shot of this gopher mound and I just want to point out how your typical gopher mound is going to be uh, crescent shaped in shape here. So the gopher is going to be tunneling along from this direction down here and moving in this direction here. And so when they decide they've got to remove uh, dirt from their tunnel, they're going to push up a hole and throw dirt out in the same direction that they've been traveling. So what that means for you is that when you're looking for the tunnel and you've got this typical crescent shape and you've got the hole right here, the plug, that means that the tunnel is running away from the, away from the mound in this direction. Now what happens with gophers most often is the tunnel will leave in this direction and then they'll hit a fork in the road right about here, like that, and it's going to split off and go in two directions. So for what we do to exterminate gophers, we insert a probe right here or right over here until we find the tunnel and that's when we inject gas. But for you, if you're going to be trying to trap these gophers, then what you're going to do is you're going to use some sort of a probing instrument coming out from this hole and following this path and inserting the probe down into the soil in an attempt to hit that tunnel. And once you hit the tunnel, that's when you're going to start digging and try and dig up that tunnel and find that gopher tunnel so you can place your traps. So I wanted to point out one other thing to you and that is this small circle that you're seeing in the middle of the screen. And I will zoom in on it for you here. But we call these a popper. Now this is a gopher tunnel too and it's probably the same gopher we were just looking at. And for some reason they will tunnel along, they will come straight up probably from a deeper feeding tunnel, a deeper tunnel in their system, and they'll create a hole but they won't throw up a mound of dirt, they'll just plug it just like you see there with that plug of dirt and we call that a popper. So you need to look for those too because we find those to be especially prevalent when we have young gophers, uh, especially in the late spring, early summer when they're mature enough to leave the gopher tunnels and their mom kicks them out, all of a sudden they start digging and they pop up a lot of these and sometimes if you're not really looking, these are difficult to detect. So you will think that you've treated all of your gophers when in fact you've got these little poppers and these are growing gophers that are gonna mature and then all of a sudden they're gonna start throwing up bigger mounds of dirt as well.